Namaste. Today we're going to do a more grounding practice in honor of Earth Day. Earth Day can be any day. So it's a grounding close to the earth, no inversions, all very downward flowing. All right, so we'll begin with a little bit of ritual. You can skip this if you like or just take this time to sit in meditation but if you do have uh, an incense you'd like to light up palo santo whatever it may be grab it now pause the video and then come back get a lighter as well a candle whatever you like a moment to just get into the mood for the practice grounding down so i am going to light up a candle first i like to always have the candle going when I practice and use the candle light, the candle flame to light up my incense or Palo Santo. Today, Palo Santo here, um, it's a wood that is sacred, that is holy and uh, helps us connect to the earth, the earth element, wood, and it's also very cleansing for the energy in the space. So lighting up Palo Santo with the intention to get grounded, to establish a nice connection to Mother Earth. And as the flame goes, then we're just left with the burning wood. We can move it around, taking in the smell, the scent of the earth, nature, getting very centered here, connecting to the breath, Letting air come in and out of the nostrils. Inhales are energizing and uplifting. And exhales are grounding, centering, rooting. You can place your props aside. Sitting tall with a neutral spine, neutral base, pelvis, legs relaxed, feel free to sit on something so that you can be comfortable. And then we're going to take a mudra, a gesture with our hands that again helps us connect to the earth. So the five fingers represent five elements, the ring finger is the earth. We're going to take the ring finger and the thumb lightly together, both hands, we can do that. Have the palms facing up for a moment, just resting the hands on your legs. The other fingers are straight. Tone in the low belly, get a little taller, relax the shoulders away from ears, keeping the back of neck long and spacious. And inhale, vitality into your whole body. Exhale, letting go of anything that is no longer serving a purpose, any stagnant energy. Inhale, more vibrancy, more prana. Exhale, to get fully established in this moment. Keeping the hands with this earth mudra, prithivi mudra, we're going to touch the hands to the floor lightly and then inhale, circle the arms like you're breathing with the earth, lift them up overhead. And on the exhale, palms out, lower the arms, maintaining the hands in the mudra, the gesture that symbolizes earth. Inhale, lift the arms, breathing with the earth. Exhale, lower the arms down, Prithivi Mudra, energetic seal that 
connects us to the earth element, breathing in, lifting the arms, and breathing out, lowering them down. A couple more like this. As you inhale, raise the arms, expand. Exhale, getting grounded as you lower the arms. One more time. Lifting as you breathe in. Lowering as you breathe out. Take a moment with the arms down, the hands touching the earth. Inhale. Exhale here. Release the mudra. Just let your palms touch the floor, the earth. Connecting to the earth, even though you may be sitting on a yoga mat or um, a surface that is not necessarily the earth. The earth is beneath us. The earth is supporting us. And we connect to that. You can imagine creating roots from your sitting bones right down into the very core of the earth. And then on the inhale, lift the right arm up, walk the left fingers away, and bend over to the left. Holding the back of the head, let your head rest on your hand, relax the shoulders, breathe in to the right side of your ribcage, and stay as you exhale. Come back to center, reach the arm up, inhaling. Lower the hand down as you exhale, and the left arm now, inhale, lift it up. Walk the right fingers away as you side bend on the exhale. Bend the elbow to hold the back of your head, relax your neck, take a deep breath into the left side of your cage, and stay on the exhale. Come back up, inhale, arm lifts, exhale, hand down, interlace hands behind the low back, extend the arms, lift chest. Shoulder blades close together. Legs stay relaxed, heavy towards the earth. One more breath. And releasing the hands down. Come onto the hands and knees, tabletop position. Feel free to have a blanket underneath your knees if you like. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale, lifting up the chest, arch the spine. Exhale, squeeze the belly and round your back, chin down. Lift the chest on the inhale, long neck. Exhale, contraction of the belly to round, stretching the back. As you inhale, you open and extend the front of the body, contracting the back. And on the exhale is the opposite. We stretch the back and contract the front. So continue at your own pace. Always working opposite actions to find harmony, contraction and extension are constantly present in our lives, in our bodies, like a dance, dance of the earth, in nature, that's also happening all the time, things um, blossoming and then dying, the cycles, the days with the sun coming up and then going down and making room for the moon. And everything working in perfect harmony with contraction and expansion. After the next inhalation, as you open the chest, come to a neutral spine. Walk the hands a couple inches ahead of the shoulders, curl the toes for down the dog, hips high up and far back. Then knees one at a time and move hips side to side. So in downward dog with the hands and feet on the earth, we imagine that we're rooting down, extending roots from our hands and feet right down into the center of the earth. And then inhale through those roots, prana, up into your limbs. And exhale, release stagnant energy right down your legs and your arms, through your feet and hands into the earth so the energy can be recycled. We inhale, 
vitality from the earth through the hands and feet, up the arms and legs, up into the pelvis. And exhale from the pelvis, down the legs and the arms, any stale energy, not serving, anything that is not serving your highest self at this time, let it go. Another full breath in. And a slow breath out. Coming into plank on the inhale, high up on the toes, shoulders over wrists and hold. Pressing the inner heels back, engaging the inner legs. Press your index fingers and thumbs strongly down as you maintain the neck long. And then lift the right foot just slightly off the floor. Keep reaching your chest forward. Nothing else changes, just really the foot lifting. And then lower your foot back down and do the same with the left. Lift it up, press back through the inner heel, chest forward, and take another breath. And lower the foot down, down the dog, hips high up and far back. Inhale, come forward into plank. Exhale, lower knees, sit into child's pose just briefly. Inhale forward onto the hands, lower to your belly, bend the elbows, exhale down. Inhale, a little cobra, lift your chest. Separate the hands a little wider. They could even be off the mat. Press your fingertips down, the five elements pressing down into the earth. Bring your chin into chest and rise up, pressing into the hands. Lift the chin now. Exhale, chest forward, forehead down. Chin into chest as you roll up. Lift the chin at the last moment. Chest forward and lower the forehead down. Continue with this rising cobra. Inhale, belly in, engage your glutes. Exhale, forward and down. Inhale, lifting up, navel into spine as you lift, arcing the back. Exhale, down. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower down. Hands close to low ribs, curl the toes, push up, knees or plank. Downward dog on the exhale. Feet can come together, we lift the right leg up on the inhale, turn the toes out and bend the right knee on the exhale. Pressing into the hands, anchor down the left foot, maybe the heel comes to floor, it doesn't matter if it doesn't. And a few breaths here, opening the right hip. With the next inhale, extend the right leg, square off your pelvis, step your foot between the hands on the exhale, lower left knee down. Lift the arms overhead, hold on to the left wrist and lean towards the right side. Keep opening the chest, another breath here, and stay as you exhale. Come back to center, open the arms, interlace hands behind the hips, extension of the arms, lift chest. Try curling the left toes now and extending the back leg, knee off the floor. Right hip stays back. Shoulder blades close together. Contain the low ribs so they are not popping out too much. And take another full breath in. Stay as you breathe out. Lower the right hand down. Step into plank pose. One breath. Shift weight into your right hand, turn your toes left, side plank, left arm up. Vashisthasana, you can keep your left foot in front of the right for more challenge, step it on top, or hover. Breathing here, nice and strong, press the um, right, or both heels actually, uh, towards the end of the mat and take one more breath, right hip high. Lower your right hand down, downward facing dog, deep breath in. Hips far back as you breathe out. Forward plank, inhale. Lower down, exhale, all the way or halfway. Inhale as high as you like. Exhale, downward facing dog. Feet come together, left leg high up, turn the toes out, bend the left knee. Gazing at the right ankle, press into the hands. Opening the hips to the left, one more breath here. Actually, take an extra so we stay equally on both sides. And then extend the legs, square the pelvis, exhale, foot steps forward, right knee down. 
Lift the arms into this low lunge and lean over to the left as you hold on to the right wrist with the left hand, contain the low ribs. Coming back to center, open the arms, interlace hands with the opposite thumb on the outside. Curl the back toes, extend the leg as you extend the arms, knee off the floor. Find stability here, maintaining that connection to the earth beneath you. The support. And another breath. We'll bring both hands down again. Left hand to hip, look over the shoulder. Arm reaches up, shoulder head back, left palm turns towards the front of the mat. One more deep breath in. And lowering the hand down. Step into plank, side plank. Weight to the left hand, turn the toes right. Balancing on the left hand, reach the right arm up. Arms are stacking with the shoulders, maybe the right foot over the left, maybe it hovers. The legs are super active. We keep pressing back through the inner heels. Left hip high up off the floor, away from the shoulder. One more breath. Lower the right hand down. Down the dog. Inhale, forward plank. Exhale, lower halfway or all the way. Lift the chest, upward dog or cobra. Downward dog, exhale back. Full breath in. Hips far away as you breathe out. Lift the heels, inhale high. Exhale, bend knees, look ahead, step or hop. Flat back as you breathe in. Fall down, bend the knees as you breathe out. Roll up the spine, circle the arms, inhale, reach high. Exhale to the heart. Full inhale. Exhale, get anchored, rooted, arms down. Tadasana, mountain pose, spread the toes. Bring the hands back together at the heart and lift the heels off the floor. Keep rooting down to your, through your toes. And now we'll inhale, healing into the earth. We'll exhale, healing into the earth. Inhale, healing into the earth. Exhale, healing into the earth. That's our prayer, our wish, that the earth can heal so we can heal. We're all connected. We cannot live without the earth. Lower the heels down. Circle the arms. Inhale. You can imagine you're hugging the earth here, the whole earth. Exhale, hands together, fold over your legs and give your legs a hug. Inhale, reach your chest forward. Exhale, bend the knees, rolling up the spine. Inhale, circle wide, reach high like you're hugging the earth. Exhale, into the heart. Again, inhale, circle wide like the earth, hug it. Exhale, bow down to the earth, grateful for all that it provides. Inhale, reach the chest forward. Fold down again, bend the knees on the exhale. Roll up the spine, circle around, inhale, exhale, back to the heart. Surya Namaskar, salutation to the sun, inhale, circle wide, reach high. Fold down, exhale, we bow. Inhale, halfway up, hands down, step or hop into plank, bend the elbows lower, halfway or all the way. Upward dog or cobra, downward facing dog. Just a couple of breaths here, nice and full. With the next inhalation, lift up the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, look ahead, step or hop, flat back, inhale. Fold down, exhale, bend the knees and roll up. Circle wide, inhale high. Exhale to heart. Again, inhale, circle, Udvahastasana. Exhale down to Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, hands down, step or hop back into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Udva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale fully. Exhale completely. 
Inhale, really present in the body. Exhale, past, future thoughts. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, knees bent, look ahead, step or hop. Flat back on the inhale. Exhale, bend the knees to full. Roll up, circle, inhale, high. To heart, exhale. Inhale from the heart, reach up. Reach forward, arms by the head as you fold, hinging at the hips. Right foot back, heel to floor, warrior one, raise the arms. Warrior two, exhale, open wide. Inhale, left arm up, right hand down. Exhale, forearm down, right arm overhead, side angle pose. Anchor down the right foot and open the chest. Breathing. Nice and rounded, present in the body. Great way to ground down when we're feeling airy and able to focus is to get into the body, to connect to the body. Activating the energy in the first chakra, Muladhara chakra. And from here, we lift the left arm up, right hand down. Reverse warrior for a moment. Extend the left leg. Trikonasana, left arm forward and down, right arm to sky, triangle pose. Opening the chest, very long neck. Aware of the breath coming in and out of the nose. And rushed, savoring each breath. Finishing the exhale, look at the left foot, front the legs, inhale, come on up. Exhale, bend the left knee. Inhale, left arm up, right hand down. Exhale, both hands to the floor. Step into plank without touching the left foot to floor. Inhale, chest forward, modify plank. Then the elbows, exhale, lower down. Now lower both feet, tops of the feet down. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full breath in. And a slow breath out. Lift the left leg up as you breathe in, turn the toes out, bend the knee as you breathe out. And from here, you may want to flip the dog over, stepping the foot outside the mat. Pubic bone to sky. This can be more of the side bend or more of a back bend, even moving into a wheel if you like. Anchor down through the right foot, left foot, lift the pubic bone higher, take another breath. And then lower the left hand back down, coming into downward facing dog again, deep breath in. And slow breath out. Vinyasa, forward plank, breathe in. Chaturanga Dandasana, breathe out. Udva Mukha Shanasana, inhale. Adho Mukha Shanasana, on the exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Heels up, breathe in. Bend the knees, look forward, step or hop, inhale, flat back, fold down, exhale, bend the knees, roll up, circle wide, inhale, reach high, exhale to heart, inhale, arms up from the heart, reach forward by the head, exhale, fold, left foot back, heel to floor, inhale, Vidabhadrasana 1, exhale, Vidabhadrasana 2, inhale, right arm up, left hand down, Exhale, forearm down, arm overhead. Parsha Konasana, side angle pose. Noticing how important it is to ground down in order to expand. So that left foot roots down and from a place of stability, you open, you grow. You need the support first, a strong foundation. One more breath. We're gonna reverse. Inhale, right arm up, left hand down. Stay on the exhale. Then extend the right leg for Trikonasana. Right arm forward and down, left arm to sky. Open chest. Firming legs. Turning the head up if your neck is okay with that. Maintaining the back of the neck long, chin slightly in. Last breath. 
Look at the right foot, front of the legs. Come on up, inhale, arms wide. Exhale, bend the right knee. Inhale, right arm up, left hand down. Exhale, both hands to the earth. We'll step into plank with the right foot off the floor, modify. Chest forward, bend the elbows lower. Both feet down, inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full inhale. Slow exhale. Right leg high up. Turn your toes out, bend the knee. Flipping the dog is an option. Reaching the right hand towards the front of the mat, either a side bend or a back bend. Let your body do what it needs to do. And from here, we'll come back down. Right hand to floor, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward plank. Exhale, chaturanga with control. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Full inhale. And a slow exhale. Inhale again. Exhale, all the air out. Lifting up the heels, breathe in. Bend the knees, look ahead, step or hop. Flat back, inhale. Fold down, exhale. Bend the knees, roll up, circle wide, reach high. Exhale, to heart. From Tadasana, moving into Vrikshasana tree, bend the right knee, open it out, foot up the leg. Standing leg is your trunk, your left foot, your roots, get along through the crown towards the sky, reach the arms up, open as wide as you like. Let's take that same earth mudra again. Joining the ring fingers to the thumbs, extending the other fingers, open the heart into the earth. Healing in and out of your heart. We heal alongside the earth, alongside the earth. As the earth heals, we heal. As we heal, the earth heals. Inhale. Exhale, healing for all of us. We'll bring the knee forward, the hands come together at the heart. We extend the right leg back into warrior three, arms by the waist. Flex the right foot, the toes are pointing down, reach the chest forward. Virabhadrasana three, nice and strong here, strong legs, legs are Connected to the first chakra, Muladhara chakra, element earth. From here, bring your hands lightly to the floor, maybe use blocks. And keeping the right leg up, bring your left hand to your left hip, look over the shoulder for a twist, arm extends up. The twisted version of Adho Chandrasana, half moon pose, looking up at the left hand if you can. Another full breath in. And a slow breath out. We'll lower the left hand down. From here, open the right hip out. Bring your right hand to your right hip and then extend the arm up. Regular Ardha Chandrasana, left hand lightly on the floor or hovering. Opening up the chest. Half moon pose, one more breath. We're moving into warrior two, bend the standing leg, step back with the right foot, reverse, left arm up, right hand down, both hands to the floor, step into plank, bend the elbows, Chaturanga Dandasana, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Full breath in, slow breath out. Lift up the heels on the inhale, Exhale, bend the knees, look ahead, step or hop, flat back, inhale. Fold, bend the knees on the exhale and roll up, circle wide, inhale, reach high. Exhale to the heart, back in Tadasana, mountain, grounded, still, connected, strong. Weights to the right foot, we bend the left knee, open and lift for Vikshasana on the other side. Hands start together at the heart. 
Right leg is your trunk, right foot your roots. We create a conduit of energy between heaven and earth by pressing down the feet and getting taller, connecting to the heavens through the crown. Arms lift, open, Tritivi Mudra, ring fingers and thumbs lightly touching, other fingers straight, connecting to the earth element for stability, for nourishment, for support. You breathe in healing, you breathe out healing. We're connecting to the earth through the right foot, our roots. As we heal, the earth heals. As the earth heals, we heal. We'll bring the hands back together at the heart, knee forward. Extension of the leg back for warrior three, arms by the waist, flex the foot, toes point down. The hips are equally high up. And we breathe here. We're going to bring the hands to lightly touch the earth or blocks. Right hand to right hip. Look over the right shoulder. Extend the right arm up. Shoulder heads back. Strong legs, energizing through the inside of the legs, pressing through the inner heels. That gives you a lot of power in the legs. Take one more breath in this revolving version of Ardha Chandrasana, Parivrita Ardha Chandrasana. And then lower the right hand down for an open Ardha Chandrasana. Turn the left toes out. Left hand to hip, left hip on top of right, arm can extend up. Right hand so light, it hovers off the floor. Strong legs. Breathing here. Moving into Virabhadrasana 2. We bend the standing legs, step the left foot back, right arm up, reverse. And from warrior 2, we lower both hands down. Right into plank pose, deep breath in, lower chaturanga, breathe out, inhale, heart up, exhale, down the dog, full inhale, exhale, completely, lift up the heels on the inhale, exhale, bend the knees, look ahead, step or hop, flat back, breathe in, fold, breathe out, bend the knees, roll up, circle wide, inhale, reach high. Exhale to heart. From the heart, inhale, reach high. Reach forward, exhale, fold down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, sitting on the floor, extend both legs forward. So from here, I'm going to turn to face you. You can face the front of the mat. Bend the right knee, and then take your right arm on the inside of your leg and lift the right shin as high up into the outer shoulder as you can and then squeeze the leg in creating a little bit of traction all right press into both hands keep squeezing the leg into your right shoulder press into the hands lift yourself off the floor hip up now the heel up lift the left heel off the floor keep pressing into the hands point the feet so it looks pretty Take one more breath, squeezing the right leg in. Exhale, lower the hips down. Now from here, we'll continue. Left hand grabs the outside of the foot. We extend the leg. It doesn't matter how much you straighten the leg. Just do what you can. Open the chest towards the left now. Anchor down through both hips. Open up the heart. And take a few breaths here. Remember, we shouldn't do a pose in which we cannot breathe properly. So if you cannot breathe, it means that you've gone too far. You need to back off a little bit. Take one more breath. Bend that right leg. Lower your right foot over the straight leg. So cross it over. Then maybe bend the bottom leg as well. Left arm around, right hand behind. Get tall, breathe in. Look over the right shoulder as you breathe out. Staying in the twist with the hips anchored down. 
We're going to reach with the left hand to grab the outside of the foot, extend the leg forward, reach the right arm back. I'm going to adjust so I have room. Palm faces up. Send the right hip down into the earth, get tall as you inhale. And stay as you exhale, bring your ring finger and thumb to lightly touch, extend the other fingers. Kriti Vimudra, the energetic seal that connects us to the earth element. Grounding, healing, nourishing, supporting. One more breath. And stay. Look forward, lift the arm up, bend your knee, and then hold the inside of the right foot and extend the leg forward with the shoulders down. So you may not extend all the way, you just extend as much as you can, of course, without compromising the neck. We don't want the neck to disappear here. Take another deep breath in and out. Bend the right knee a bit, extend the left leg forward and then the right. Both legs straight forward, inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, hold the outside of the legs, you can bend the knees, relax the neck, relax the shoulders. Paschimottanasana, opening the back of the body, releasing any uh, tension, stress associated with past. Breathe out anything that is no longer serving a purpose, let it go, last breath. Roll up, from here we'll bend the left knee and we'll take the left arm on the inside of the leg, lifting the leg up so that the shin bone is eventually on top of the shoulder, so we work towards this, right? And then we plant the hands down. We need to activate the leg, squeeze it into the left um, upper arm, shoulder. And then we press into the hands. We lift the hips up, flex the feet, see if it gives you a little more power, and then lift the right leg up. Hold here, maybe extend or point the feet and take another deep breath. And slowly release back down to the earth. Now take your right hand to the outside of your left foot, extend that leg, open the chest, turning the head to the right, so you're looking under your right arm. Mm. Breathe here. Mm. Just one more breath, strong, powerful legs, rooted close to the earth. Honoring Prithivi, the earth element, and our sacred connection to nature, to the earth. From here, we're going to step this foot to the outside of the, stand, the straight leg. Maybe bend the straight leg, right arm around, left hand behind, get tall, breathe in. Look over the shoulder as you breathe out. Hips towards the core of the earth, crown towards the sky. Staying in the twist, right hand grabs the outside of the left foot, extend the leg forward, left arm can extend back with the palm facing up. And then Prithivi Mudra, we bring the ring finger and the thumb to touch lightly, extending the other fingers. Re-establishing a deep connection to the support beneath us, to our ground, to our roots. One more breath. And we'll face forward again. Left hand grabs the inside of the left foot. Extend the leg, lift the chest. Anchoring down through the pelvis, opening the heart. Relax the face and take one more breath here. 
and back slightly, extends the bottom leg and then the top leg. Paschimottanasana again, inhale your arms up, flex the feet, reach forward, outside of the feet, release the head. Paschimottanasana. Breathing into the back of the body. Point the feet, roll up the spine, shoulders back and down. From here, we're going to bring the hands close to the hips, a little bit back, fingertips point forward, press into the hands, lift the hips, toes touch the floor, lift the chest and release your head back. You can also do this with your knees bent, of course, keep lifting the hips high up, pressing into the index fingers and thumbs, press the big toes down and take another breath. Chin to chest, lower the hips down, inhale, reach the arms forward, shoulder height, and lie down as you exhale slowly. As you lie down on your mat, bring your knees into chest for a moment, relax your back. Lower the feet down, hip distance apart, bridge pose, pressing into the feet, lift the hips, walk the shoulders close together, interlace the hands. The feet are parallel and as we root down, we then lift up higher from a place of stability. We ground and then we grow. Energize the inner legs. Imagine you're squeezing a yoga block between your legs. Press down the feet and lift the hips higher. One more breath. Slowly separate the hands and the shoulders. Lower down your hips. Knees can gently touch. You can repeat bridge, any variation, or perhaps move into a wheel now. Hands underneath the shoulders, feet parallel, come up onto the top of the head, press into the hands and extend the arms as much as you can. If you can, the heels are on the floor. I'm still regaining strength from giving birth, so I have my heels up. My back is not as flexible anymore. Maybe it will get there one day, but for now, heels are up. Take one more breath. And bring your chin to chest, slowly lower yourself down. Let the knees fall inwards. And bring the knees into armpits, soles of the feet up, hold the outside of the feet for happy baby. And rock side to side. Maybe extending one leg at a time. Let the body move in the way that it wants to move without questioning its wisdom. Pause and center, give your, leg, give your legs a nice stretch. And then bend the knees, lower the feet down. Open the arms for a simple twist. Take a deep breath, the feet can stay hip distance apart and on the exhale, both knees fall to the right. Left, head, head turns left. You could step your right foot on the outside of the left leg. Make sure your knee feels okay with this without forcing anything that is not serving your body's highest good. There's no sense in forcing something that's not ready to happen. Respect your body's timing. And take those full breaths with healing intention to heal the body, the earth, the soul, the spirit. Right 
foot comes down, if it's up, lift the knees, pause and center, take a deep breath in, and let your knees come to the left, turn the head right, left foot could come to the outside of the right thigh, just above the knee, and take some nice breaths here. Vitality from the earth into the whole body. Vibrancy, prana, life force. And lower the left foot down and lift the knees up. Pelvis aligned with the shoulders, feet hip distance apart. Now cross the um, left foot, left ankle over right thigh, interlace hands behind the right leg or in front of the shin and hold here for a moment. There's also the option of moving into a pigeon variation, hooking the foot to the inside of elbow, extending the right leg forward as you cradle the left shin, keeping the foot and shin properly aligned. So top of your left foot in line with the front of your left shin. Just another couple breaths here. Bend the standing, the straight leg, right knee. Lower the right foot down, everyone. Left foot down. Pause. And switch sides. Right ankle crosses over left thigh. Interlacing hands behind the thigh or in front of the shin. Nice hip opener. Creating space in the heel L as well. And maybe that pigeon variation, if you had it on the first side. Relax the face. Relaxing the top of the head, the back of the head, whole head. Lift the corners of your mouth. Watch your mouth, just one, two corners, one mouth. And if the leg is straight, bend your left knee, foot down, right foot down. And hug both knees into chest. Hands on kneecaps, knees on forward. Or your kneecaps are stacked on top of your pelvis. More weight onto the sacrum, the spine release. And then move your knees gently from side to side together. And pause in center to find your way into Shavasana. Take your time to let your legs extend, maybe using props. Maybe putting on extra layers to stay warm. Cutting your head if you like. Supporting the curve of the neck. With the palms facing up, the shoulder blades down the back, we allow the body to rest, supported by the earth, allowing it to restore and renew itself, allowing it to heal, 
allowing it to heal alongside the earth. As we heal, the earth heals. As the earth heals, we heal. We breathe here without needing to do or control anything at all. We allow ourselves a moment to simply be. Every muscle in the body relaxes. We stay for as long as we can or want. Full surrender into the support of Mother Earth. Can you allow yourself to be held by Mother Earth? To trust its healing powers. To find comfort in its support, its wisdom, its nourishment, and strength. Be held. attention back, but don't move yet. Just notice your body resting. Become aware of your toes, both feet, ankles. Aware of your legs, knees, hips, pelvis. Aware of your torso, the belly, the rib cage, the chest, and the whole back. Aware of your arms, shoulders, elbows, wrists. Aware of your hands, all the fingers. Aware of your throat. Neck, chin, lips, tongue, jaw, 
cheeks, ears, temples, eyes, forehead, aware of your whole face, aware of the top of your head and the back of your head, and the brain, aware of the whole head and the whole body, vibrant, alive, Notice the support of the earth. And begin to slowly move the fingers and the toes, ankles, wrists, awakening the body without losing the connection to yourself, to Mother Earth. Remembering that that support, that nourishment is always there, always available. And after a nice stretch, roll over to one side. And from the fetal position, come up to sit tall. Long spine, eyes closed, observe how you feel, and take a few more healing breaths here. Inhale. Dana from the earth, vitality. Exhale, rooting down into the earth, grounding. Inhale, energy from the earth into your whole being, vibrant, alive. And exhale. With the earth energy, so we too may heal, transform, renew. We do it together. We depend on one another. Seal the practice by bringing the hands together. Prayer of gratitude that you may have for yourself, for the earth. Giving thanks for all the wonderful things that the earth provides, life itself. <laughs> 